It's officially done. The island I never thought I would finish in time. The island that I told myself I wouldn't do. It's complete. Y'all doubted me. I know you doubted me. But here we are today to tour my finished Christmas themed island. Let's go. This island was my spooky island that I have now converted into a Christmas island and this was a task. It took me a lot longer than I anticipated. I thought this would be a quick and easy solution to renovating your island, but it honestly it took me a lot longer than I thought. So it's done. We did it. There are some things that I didn't do that I thought I was going to do, but we're not even going to, we're not going to talk about that right now. We're just going to get right into it. Here we are at the entrance on the island. I'm excited. Okay, so the map. The map is basically the same. I didn't really do anything else. I removed two areas that were previously there. All of the villagers are the same except for Fauna, who auto-filled on my island. <laughs> and everyone else is the same. Because I told myself, if we're going to truly commit to this, I'm just going to keep the same villagers. I don't care if their houses fit the aesthetic because the whole concept is that I'm just changing out what I had before and making it into a Christmas island instead of a spooky island. Also known as I was too lazy to villager hunt or to edit their houses or do anything like that. So we're going to go with the first one that I intentionally did this, but y'all know the truth. Okay, so here we are at the entrance of my island. I love this. I feel like I always am most happy with my entrances. And this one is no exception because this is where it all starts for me. This is where the initial idea, the whole inspiration for everything begins. And I love this. So if you can't tell, I'm doing a pink and red Christmas because I was going to initially just do pink. And then I noticed that the snowman also has red. So we decided to add the red and I don't regret it. I, I really, really like it. So here we go. We're going to just continue on the tour here. My villagers have been absolute just nuisances. Is that a word? Is that the plural of nuisance? They've been in the way. They're annoying. <laughs> Everything I've tried to film so far, they're always in the way. So ignore them. Okay, so here is the first neighborhood, and this used to be a carrot farm. It is now a Christmas tree farm, a little mini one, and this is still the same house. I just swapped out the decorations. You're going to see a lot of the same decorations all over the island because there's only so much to work with. If you come up here, we've got Tad's house, and the neighborhood just kind of continues through here. We got this little lookout picnic spot, lots of pink festive trees, lots of ornament things. I don't know. It, it's all the Christmas stuff. We're in the Christmas spirit. You know, it's happy and fun. Over here, I'm really happy with how this turned out because we've got the, the lilies that kind of look like poinsettias. If you really squint your eyes just right. You can make them look like poinsettias and that's very festive and holiday and I think it's cute <laughs> and I didn't have to do anything except for change those out and then add in like this little it's called a sleigh I call this a sled but it's a sleigh okay oh uh, we've got another house over here and I, I guess I don't have to keep saying that I swapped things out um because y'all will know that because that's that's what I did. Here is the what is this called? A meadow? I don't know. I've got this passageway, this meadow, which leads to the now apple orchard. It used to be a peach orchard. And I don't know which one I prefer. That's one thing I'm curious to go back and look at all these areas. The unfortunate thing is I am gonna have to save over my spooky dream address. So if you didn't get to go, it's now going to be this one and you won't be able to go because <laughs> now it's going to be this. So if you sneak over this way, I do have the campsite over here. 
Um, because for my spooky island, I just never did anything with it. So it's still just over here. I switched out the flowers. It's just on the peninsula, not a big deal. Now, I am really hoping that I swapped out everything appropriately. That's one of my biggest fears. Not, I mean, it's really shouldn't be. <laughs> my biggest concern, it's not a fear, it's a concern that maybe I missed a purple or yellow flower somewhere. If you find one, you get a prize of knowing that you're the person who found it. Okay. <laughs> This, okay, this might be my favorite area, and this was an area that someone suggested on stream, and I'm so happy that they did Christmas tree farm forest thing is what this is. So, I just took all of the Christmas trees, instead of doing your typical tree farm, which I do have one of those later, I took all of the Christmas trees, and I love this. It's just so special sparkly and happy and festive and oh I just love it so much this used to be my spooky forest it is now this but this is just like oh this is one of those areas I would love to visit in real life because I think it would be so pretty it just reminds me you know if you go to like a light show or something oh love it walking this way we have the continuation of the neighborhoods. So we've got these houses that are kind of tucked behind resident services. And these are just super easy yard decorations. So nothing really fancy going on. This one was the biggest change probably because I had to change out a bunch of green mums. And this is another place where I use those poinsettias. We're going to call them right there. <laughs> Back here, I changed out the baseball field. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset because a lot of people love the baseball field, but it had to go. And I decided to put an ice skating rink back here. So just kind of a frozen over pond. We're going to use our imagination. We're going to pretend that I'm not using the same path everywhere else where it's not meant to be water. And we're just going to act like I didn't do that. So... Right here, you can do your cute little yoga poses and pretend this is an ice skating rink. I mean, it does have this sign right here, so obviously that's what it is. <laughs> and this was the last thing I did, so I got really lazy and I just planted a bunch of flowers and bushes and trees and called it a day. But it's there. It's cute. Sometimes you don't have to do a lot to make an area work for your island. Like it doesn't have to be so elaborate. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Over here I have more neighborhood. I forget how many houses we get in this game. Like there's 10, okay. So this is one of those situations where the house really is not my favorite with this vibe, but it's fine. It is what it is. Fauna decorated for Christmas. All my villagers did a great job with their Christmas decorations. Everyone is in the spirit. And then this was a bigger change down here. This used to be a pumpkin patch. And I turned this into the actual full-size tree farm. And I love how this turned out. It was actually a pretty easy transition because I was able to keep the layout of the pumpkin patch and just insert the trees and change some of these things in the middle. And I really like how it turned out. I loved the areas that were like easy changes were really nice. Should I turn that on? Maybe I should have it on. I don't know. Up this way, we're going to continue the neighborhood. We have two more houses here. Um, I don't even know whose houses are whose, honestly. Okay, another one of my favorite areas is coming up. This is the carnival. And I really love, I was able to keep this pretty much the same and literally just swap out the pumpkin decorations for winter and Christmas decorations. I felt like the pastel vibe, this like, pastel carnival stuff it still was perfect and so I love that so much I think it turned out really cute this area again we have the 
what is this? Like a plaza, a little park area, which leads up to the museum. Oh, this was cute too. This holly bush farm instead of another pumpkin patch. We have the museum here. I also shot down a bunch of the presents and just left those out. That's a favorite thing of mine for my Christmas islands is to just shoot down some little presents. Don't pick them up. You have to be pretty precise about where you're shooting them down, but I really love that. And then the last thing is just Abel's and Nook's over here. Swapped out a few things, added a tree, added a snowman. You're done. It makes it seem easy, but the, the difficult thing was having to go through and pick everything up and place it down exactly where it was. It was just a lot. It wasn't difficult. It was just a lot more time consuming than I anticipated. Now, here's the ultimate question. Should I continue to do this? Do I just leave this island exactly how it is, terraformed, and I just move on to the next theme and I don't change anything except for the decorations. Do you like this? Do you enjoy these little just swapping out the different items and everything to see how it turns out? I don't know. I could maybe get on board for that, but we'll see. Maybe I want to just destroy it all. I don't know. So that is my finished spooky to Christmas transition island i hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you haven't seen what this island looked like in the spooky season go ahead and click on that video on the screen right now